Hey guys, it's Sandro here with a slightly different video today that looks at some testing with some sample PA foam guns. I'm sure by now a lot of you guys know that testing detailing products is a large part of what I do, but I mostly tend to share that process with polishing compounds, pads, machines, as well as sealants and coatings. So for something a little different, I thought I'd strap on the camera and record some of the process of putting these sample foam lancers that I've been given to test through their paces, testing for things like thickness and consistency of the foam, their spray pressure and patterns, how well the foam clings to the surface and how much of the detergent solution they go through. Now with just about any testing procedure, it's always important to have a control sample to compare the results which in this case will be the Concours PA Foam Lance and Snow Car Wash Detergent that I've used for years and I'm really familiar with. So as mentioned, these sample foam lancers are also the Italian made PA Foam Lancers, just like the Concourse one, but they all have slightly variations in their specific configurations in relation to the inlet and outlet flow sizes, as well as varying valve sizes, which affects things like the water and detergent flow, as well as spray patterns and pressure. So my goal is to determine which out of sample 1, 2 and 3 performs best based on the criteria I mentioned before and whether any of them are better than the Concourse PA control sample that is a proven industry standard performer. And for those of you that have been following the insane detail on my own car and wash updates, this will be a 4 month update on how the paint and Nova Pro coating is holding up on the Alfa Romeo Brera. The truth is that if you own a quality foam lance, there's a good chance you'll see a small circle with the initials PA somewhere on it, as they've been making many quality foam lances for many different brands for many, many years. So as you can see, all the foam lance guns have been filled with a 1 to 9 dilution of Concourse Snow and in the first test I'm keeping the water flow valve completely shut to test the maximum foaming ability. Now I have to say that in this primary test the results were very similar and consistent with all the foam lances. But overall, in relation to the thickness of the foam, the Concourse PA lance was a touch thicker, though the difference was very marginal. There also seemed to be a slight decrease in the foam thickness from sample 1 decreasing down to sample 3. In the next test, I fully opened the top valve of all the foam lancers to the maximum level which lets in more tap water and minimizes flow from the detergent bottle and then started closing the valve in quarter increments. Now in general, I mostly open the valve about a quarter of the way when I foam a vehicle as it seems to create the perfect consistency of foam with the 1 to 9 dilution of my product and my particular pressure washer and quality of water. But you will find that if your pressure washer has less PSI and LPM, which is pressure and water flow, and if your water supply is hard or high mineral content water, this will largely affect the quality and thickness of your foam. Now you can increase the thickness of your foam by using a stronger concentration of your snow foam product, but this can also lead to a more difficult experience of rinsing off the detergent and things like streaks and haze in the paint's finish. This actually turned out to be a more telling test of the range of thin to thick foam that each of these PA foam lances is capable of and how each of them delivered slightly different droplets of water and foam. I know it may be difficult to see in the footage, but the Concourse Lance seemed to have finer independent droplets, though more of them. And while Sample 1 Lance had slightly less droplets, they were also slightly larger and were progressively larger and fewer with both Sample 2 and Sample 3 of the PA Lances. In essence, the actual coverage and consistency of the foam was very similar with all four foam guns, but the way in which they achieved that coverage was different. So as mentioned, while the Concourse Lance used finer droplets and more of them, the other sample lances used larger droplets but less of them. 
As to which is better, it did seem as though the finer and greater number of droplets tended to bond and dwell for longer. But having said that, it was once again quite a marginal difference. So although it did seem that the Concourse PA Lance still had the thickest foam, I tried another test foaming each of the lances with a more narrow spray pattern directly onto the floor to see which one would create the tallest pile of foam. This really did put an end to the question of which one has the thickest foaming ability, which was as I suspected all along the Concourse Lance followed by Sample 1 and then Sample 2 and lastly 3. Now the final test was measuring or timing the duration of the foaming by each of these four foam guns. So in other words, how long can you foam before you've used up all the detergent? This also directly relates to the running cost in how much product each of these lances uses and how many cars you can potentially foam with a single litre bottle. On average, I find that a litre bottle of your car wash detergent diluted at 1 to 9 is capable of foaming two cars and each car takes about 30 to 40 seconds to foam. So as you'll see, once I've done timing and testing all four foam lances, this was by far the largest difference of all. The Concourse PA was able to foam for a minute and 20 seconds straight, meaning that it should be able to foam two cars with a single litre bottle. Whereas all three of the sample PA foamers were able to foam for well over two minutes, and closer to three to four times longer with the same one litre bottle of diluted car wash detergent. In essence, this means that while the Concourse Lance is able to create a slightly thicker and more clingy foam, it's going through almost twice as much product to get there. So while the Concourse Lance can foam about two cars with a one litre of product, the sample PA Lances can foam three to four cars using the same amount of product. Now this may not be a major issue or concern for the home user who occasionally foams their car, but for someone like a professional detailer who does foam and wash many cars on a daily and weekly basis, it could potentially mean saving hundreds and hundreds of dollars and significantly reducing the amount of car wash product you buy and use. In the end, there's no 100% answer as to which is the best foam lance based on these tests. However, what there is, is the answer as to which foam lance will be the best dependent on your particular situation. So if you're in the situation where you're struggling to create a rich thick foam based on having a less powerful pressure washer or the hard water supply you have access to, then the Concourse PA foam lance would definitely help increase the quality, richness and thickness of that foam. However, if you're in the position where creating a rich thick foam isn't an issue, or you actually prefer a thinner or runnier consistency of foam, and you're foaming a lot of cars, perhaps as a detailer, then the Sample 1 PA foamer would definitely be more than adequate and potentially save you a considerable amount of money over the course of a year. Not to mention that with the capacity to foam three to four cars with just a single bottle, it should also save you time if you're washing multiple cars daily. And although the differences between Sample 1 to Sample 3 were extremely minimal, Sample 1 seemed to edge ahead of the other two in almost all the tests I conducted. On a couple of final notes, I hope you guys can see that the paint on the Alfa Brera is pretty much looking and behaving like it was four months ago, the day it was coated. And the Nova Pro coating is still displaying phenomenal water behaviour and self-cleaning properties, which I really couldn't be more happier with. 
And for those of you watching that saw my trip to see my video, I've actually had a chance to test some of those compounds I collected there. So I'll hopefully have a video coming up that tests those compounds in a head-to-head -head comparison on a variety of paints, pads and machines. So look out for that video. I really hope you guys enjoyed having a look at how I, at least in part, test certain other products and hopefully it can help you out in determining how to test or judge something like a foam lance for your own benefit. I'll lastly add that I've tested quite a few of those cheaper eBay foam lancers in the past and although some of them work okay initially, they tend to break and fall apart quite rapidly, at least in my experience. So the other important thing to consider is durability which I can confidently say that all the PA foam lancers I've owned in the past have lasted for years, even with constant use in a work environment. So as always, thanks for watching guys. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for these videos and I'll see you guys soon.